Next up, after you work on making sure that your tension level is at the desired level and you're really into making sure that you are aware of it and not just use it as a byproduct of your serve, you then want to go into your toss and find out whether you have a straight or a bent arm. A very, very important fundamental on the toss is that your arm remains straight throughout the motion and that is simply because without a straight arm it is very difficult to get the correct release level over and over again but also the tension level as we just previously spoke about in the, in the last video um, the tension level will be likely much higher if your arm is bent because you're not throwing from your shoulder you're not tossing from your shoulder as you should but you're actually involving your elbow and sometimes also the wrist. So a very very important um, concept is a straight toss arm and the best way to do that although you will see some good players having a bent arm at the beginning we want to get into that straight position before the tossing motion itself begins okay that is highly important. So let me show you right here um, what I want you to accomplish for this exercise right here I want you to make sure that you have that straight arm and you keep that arm straight until it's all the way at the top of that ex uh, top of the release okay so I don't want you to be in this position right here and if you are too worried about hitting the actual ball when you work on your toss you I can tell you from experience you are not going to be aware of what your tossing arm actually did so I want you to make sure check out record yourself from the same angle I'm recording this video from and see whether your arm at the release is bent and if it is then I highly recommend you begin with a straight arm at the beginning go all the way to the release point and beyond to the end of the motion in a straight manner only activating your shoulder you do not want this okay because once the arm is bent very few people continue to lift the arm which will then cause other issues on the serve but I want you to be very aware of a complete and calm motion because you have a totally straight toss arm okay so let me show you a corrective drill after I show you a side by side of how to do it correctly and incorrectly let me show you what I want you to pay attention to for this particular part of the toss here on the left side I have a completely straight toss arm from the beginning of the motion outlined right here by the green line from the beginning of the motion some players even start further down um, all the way up to release you can see that the arm remains straight throughout and then all the way to the end of the toss where I call it almost perpendicular to the ground I always refer to it as such and that you maintain that straight arm throughout and basically only activating your shoulder to place the ball where you want to make sure you connect with it okay and then as a result it is a very easy type of serve in relation in, in regards to how much effort goes into putting the ball in the right place so having a straight arm is incredibly important and is something you really want to make sure you pay attention to let's take a look here so let me just refer to this one more time in these three segments so a straight arm here a straight arm at release and then a straight arm all the way at the end of the swing uh, sorry at the toss and now when I go into the other motion here you can see the more incorrect version you can already see how my arm begins to bend right here okay and that's most likely the case players who have a bent arm likely don't start with a straight arm and you can see here at the release which in itself is also way too early in my in this particular case you can see how the arm remains very bent the whole time and, and, and it's very very difficult to control the toss that way even in this particular example here you can see that the, the toss goes much higher it goes outside of the frame and that's because I'm abrupt and I'm, 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 not, I'm not following the toss all the way okay so and, and that is the most important part for this particular clip here that you pay attention to whether you begin with a straight arm and as outlined right here you want to start with a straight arm you don't want to try to um, straighten it out somewhere in between the beginning and the end of the tossing motion but the chances of you being successful at a consistent toss is when you begin and maintain a straight toss arm throughout and here are the main differences right there outlined one more time a bent arm versus a straight arm 